Hi, and uh, welcome to the configuration series uh, for the Fonera router. Um, today, I am going to show you how to connect a cable modem. Um, this is a Motorola SB5101 and surfboard cable modem from First Media. This is a standard release, so um, if you were to call First Media today, uh, this is probably the modem that they will have installed in your home. In your home, and uh, what um, this will do is uh, bring you internet access. And uh, if you want to get Wi-Fi, you need to get a router. And uh, this, um, I have to say, is the most intelligent router out in the market today. Um, this is an N series router. It has uh, a USB port. Uh, up front for you to to do uh, a whole bunch of things, uh, really cool things that uh, other routers aren't capable of. And uh, in the back, we have a internet port and four other LAN ports uh, for you to connect to. And uh, so, uh, why we're doing this video is because uh, this is the basic um, configuration that uh, you need to be able to to be able to do to get uh, Wi-Fi working in your home and um, it works this way for not only First Media but uh, you could do this for uh, Telcom Speedy um, of course the Speedy modem would be a little different uh, you'd have a phone wire coming in into the modem uh, giving you internet access um, in the case of uh, First Media you have a, a cable this particular cable here and um, Besides uh, Telcom Speedy, you could also um, have a similar setup with uh, Biznet, and of course Biznet has uh, fiber to the home, so you'd have a fiber modem. But um, in all three cases, uh, you would have an Ethernet port on the modem, and uh, this Ethernet port is what you're going to need to connect the modem to the router. And uh, in order to, to do that, you would need uh, this cable here. Uh, it's an RJ45 cable. It kind of looks like a telephone wire, but it's slightly wider and a, and a tad bigger, yeah. So um, this wire uh, should come, um, well, I'm sure it does. Uh, it does come in the Fonera box. Uh, you get a RJ45 wire as well as the cable bone box so uh, you should have two of these uh, if you have a similar setup that I do and what you want to do is plug one of the end of the wire into the cable modem and the other end of the wire into the internet port now please make sure you plug this to the internet port just like this you do not want to be plugging this particular wire into any of the four. Now these four is for connecting desktops or any machine that does not have uh, Wi-Fi capabilities um, so you would have to get another wire and plug that into the one, one of these four and the other end of the wire would go into the machine that needed internet access. Now the other thing to pay attention to is the wireless signal or the, the wire, wireless switch. This needs to be in the on uh, section and uh, that's about it so to your front you need to have these three lights turned on that's the power that's the WAN and that's the Wi-Fi and the cable modem should look like that now if uh, everything is set I'll show you my computer here real quick close this now all we want to do Let's go to the wireless section and as you can see here the first signal you see is called my place and my place is Fon's the Fonera's default Wi-Fi now if you see this that means the phone is transmitting Wi-Fi into from uh, the first media network so this is a good thing and uh, you can also test this if you don't have a laptop or you have a tablet you can test this uh, from
from a tablet so I have my tablet here and uh, really quickly if I turn Wi-Fi on you should see my place right there too you could do this uh, on your Blackberry as well or on your iPhone so uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, next video will focus on accessing my place. Thank you.